because I am collabing with my girls. Do it on a dime in Malto 79. These are my top two all-time favorite YouTubers. I love them and this is such an honor to be able to do this collab video with, it, with them. And if you are not familiar with them, let me just share a little bit. Do it on a dime is amazing. She has a channel where she shares the most budget-friendly, beautiful ideas such as decorating, home organization, cooking, it's endless. You never know what her video is going to show you, but I guarantee you it's going to show you something that is going to help you around your home and it's going to be budget friendly. And I just love her. And I love the fact that she, you know, she's about to embark on being a new mother. She's a school teacher. And yet she still finds time to consistently come and bring you great quality content. Her videos are really just great quality and of great quality and content and I appreciate her and I want to take this time to let her know that and I consider her a friend. I just over the last couple of months of getting to know her through her videos and just um, via email and things like that I just love her spirit. I love everything about her and please I'll put the link to her video below. Definitely check her out. I know you will love her too. Malto79. I have been watching her since I got on YouTube and beautiful spirit spirit Funky, that girl is spunky. I think it would be against the law for me and her to live in the same town because we would cut it up. And she is just amazing with showing you things that work that are just, they just make sense. You know, sometimes I'm watching her videos and she'll she'll show me an organizational tip or something around the home. And it just, it, it's something that is just the simplest thing. But you would never think of. And it just, it's just common sense and it just makes so much sense. She believes in doing things that make life easy, that is not complicated. And I love that about her. And she's just amazing. I mean, she keeps a beautiful home. She's a beautiful mother. And, and secretly she shared that, um, you know, when she can sneak around and take the minivan for a spin by herself, she loves listening to gangster rap. So, I mean, who, you, why, you, you have to love someone like that. She, she is just a beautiful spirit. So we're bringing our videos. They're doing a video on their three favorite products for cleaning and I'm doing and, and tools and I'm doing the same. So when you finish my video go definitely um, check out the links below to their videos and check them out and subscribe while you're over there because you really will enjoy and learn a lot from them. So now let me get right into it. I am in my laundry room like I said and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I'm going to start with my first favorite cleaning tool and the product that goes along with it. So then I'm going to move along. So I hope you will enjoy. Okay, my first favorite cleaning tool along with cleaning product is the Swiffer Dusters and the one I love this because, you know, when they build houses now and they, you know, they build them higher up, um, you know, with the high ceilings and things to make them have a bigger feel. And that's what they did with my house. But that means everything is up high. And, you know, so instead of having to use step ladders and things, this makes life so, so easy for me. I can go through my house and dust those high areas and I don't have to get step stools and I don't have to get ladders. And, you know, I'm a game girl. I love love gain. I love the smell of it. I love my home smelling like that. It's something about it that I'm attracted to. And this has that gain, gain fa fragrance and I love it. The wand just, just lets you dust on top of things. It's repositionable. It can go straight up so that you can kind of get far back or it bends down so that you can get on top of shelves and different things. And it's just easy to just maneuver. No stepping on ladders. Just I can get on top of my um, door seals and things. And it's just really easy. And, and you know, I really love it for my ceiling fans because I don't need a ladder and I can still clean my ceiling fans without having a ladder. And it just gets all that dust and it doesn't really knock the dust down on me. It kind of gravitates to the actual Swiffer, um, uh, I guess you want to call it the pad or whatever. And so it just really is great and I absolutely love it. Now my next favorite product is this Pledge Revitalizing um, Oil. And I actually learned about this from another YouTuber called Savvy Seasons. And I, she just, you know, made my world. I, she, her video was so great. And then I said, well, let me go get some and try this. Because she said, if you want to put a sparkle on your home, get this stuff here. And I did, and you know what? She was telling the truth. I mean, it really does bring out the just nice shine in your woods and things, and it does it so quickly, easy. And the biggest thing that I love about it is that it 
lasts. It has longevity because like I do my kitchen um, cabinets and it lasts me a good two weeks. The shine is still there two weeks later. So this is my kitchen cabinet and I'm going to go ahead and show you the difference now. Um, it's just simple. You just take it and you just spray a little bit like directly onto your cabinet, just like your just regular you know, any other product that you have. And then you just wipe it down and you will see that it just shines and it really makes your kitchen glow and just have that really just, just a beautiful shine. And it brings out the nice wood tones and your, your cabinets are just like, oh, thank you so much. But if you notice on one side, I'm going to do one so that you can see the difference and just how it just kind of just brightens up my kitchen cabinets and just gives that shine. So you can just imagine the whole kitchen being done and your cabinet shining. And guys, it really does last me about two weeks. I do this and in two weeks, I'm they're consistently shining and nice and just beautiful uh, for that time period. I love it. I really do love it. And this is one that I've just started you know, learned about from Savvy Seasons, but I mean, it is staple. If you can see the bottle, I don't know if you remember how much I've used already, but I use it faithfully and I absolutely am a big fan of this product. So it is the Revitalizing Oil from Pledge and I love it. I'm gonna, quickly, I need to show you my first tool because it's not necessarily an actually item that you use to clean something with, but it is a one of, I consider one of my clean tools and it is my timer because I only clean my house one hour a day, Monday through Friday. I do not clean on weekends. We're closed down for cleaning on weekends. And I do not do more than an hour. I This system works for me. It works for my friends. It is workable. Now, if your house is one where you're behind and you need to play catch up, you may need to spend a weekend and grab that hubby and get your house clean. And then that Monday, kick off on a one hour cleaning system. I'm telling you guys, it really does work. So what I do is this is the first tool when it's time to do my cleaning. This is the first tool I grab because it's my motivator. I set it for one hour. I sit it down and I go cleaning. The first thing I do is put a load of clothes in the laundry because I do have to do a load every day and that keeps me on top of my laundry. But once I throw it in, I go and I finish doing all the rest of my cleaning. When I hear this buzzer, it's over. It's time for me to do whatever else I need to do for the day, but cleaning is over. So this is my first favorite cleaning tool is my timer. So let's move on. Let's get to moving on into the other thing. Okay, this is another tool that I love. This is actually, I ordered it off Amazon.com a while back, but it's actually for the kitchen where you, a bowl scraper, where you scrape like you're, when you're making, um, I guess, cakes and stuff, you're scraping everything out of your bowl. But I use it as a cleaning tool because when I'm doing, I have a lot of mirrors and windows in my house and you know, just, it just is a lot of work. I use it as my squeegee. It's great because of the size and it's soft enough to where it's not going to damage my mirrors or my windows, but it's small enough for me to easily grasp and get those small windows and um, things like that. And it's just simple. I just, you know, kind of spray and just wipe my windows and it works so great. Now on to my last um, of my two products and my tool, and it is my Carpet cleaner and game. I use these two together. You know, I am just, I have this thing and I got this from my mom that I like doing my own carpets. I don't like bringing anyone in a company or I'm um, using a, a tool, a carpet cleaner from, a, you know, a rental place or anything like that because they go in so many different homes and I just don't know about the cleanliness of them. You know, after watching that show hoarders and seeing how, you know, fecal matter and things are in the carpet and all that is just disgusting. And so I'm like, mm, I don't want to bring kind of those brushes into my carpet and home and use that. So I just, I'm so blessed to, that I can um, have my own shampoo or do my own carpets. And I love using gain to do it because the smell is just amazing. It makes my house smell amazing. I do my carpet carpets up, and I only have carpet upstairs, but I do it every six months. I shampoo my carpets and it's just, the smell is just amazing using gain. I don't use a, um, anything but gain on my carpets. I put a little bit in the water. Um, this has an actual, this is the Bissell Pro Heat. I have a Bissell uh, vacuum and I can't stand it. It's just the worst vacuum in the world to me, but this cleaner is the best to me. I've had it a couple years and I absolutely love it. And I just fill it up with water and put a little bit of gain and it just works so great. It just really has been, um, really, really been wonderful for me. And I feel just so blessed to be able to have this. So I love it. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed me sharing what are my top three favorite cleaning products and cleaning tools. This is currently what I'm loving. 
it may change in a couple months, you know, I just never know with me. But as of right now, I'm loving these tools. They're very workable for me, and I hope that you also um, can find these helpful. Again, please go check out my girls. Do it on a dime, and Malto79, you will love them. So I hope you guys are doing great, and I hope you're having a beautiful day. This is Nikki saying goodbye.